we end up at an apartment about 10 minutes away from my house. I'm a little nervous. And I was like, what am I doing here? W what's going on here? I'm gonna make some money, but how am I gonna make this money? All laid out on a plastic table it was the most marijuana that I ever seen in my life. I'm from British Columbia, Canada. Marijuana is part of our culture, but that's a lot of weed. I'm wondering, how much is this? Like, how much is it worth? You down with us, bro? All you gotta do is take some stuff across the border from me. Easy work, man. Okay. Easy work. Start unpacking your bag, man. Next thing I know, I got 20 pounds of marijuana in my hockey bag. I wanted to impress Kane. I wanted to be part of this. So in order to be part of this, I had to do this. The drive to the border was about an hour and 15 minutes. Something about it excited me. It gave me an adrenaline rush. And I was like, what's the worst that could happen? It's only a little bit of weed. But then I got Border Patrol behind me. I literally was like, oh my God. I'm going the speed limit, I'm taking it easy, but I'm thinking, what if, what if, what if? And all of a sudden, he took the exit. And I was just like, oh my God, oh my, oh, that was so close. Oh my God, that was close. As I approach the border, I'm at the point of no return. I realized I was risking my career as a hockey player. If they find what's in this car, I'm gonna go down. Passport. So, where are you going? I looked at the border guard straight in the eyes and lied to him. I'm going down to Tacoma, Washington. I played junior hockey there. I said, I've got my hockey gear in the back and whatnot. OK. You can go. Thank you, sir. He waved me through. I felt so much relief. I'm pumped. I did it. <laughs> accomplished.